All right, well, you're on, so All we right. can take so it I away can, when you're ready. I can just say anything? Yeah, say anything. Okay, so my interesting thoughts are that this generation and dating is so screwed up, and okay. I think that people in this generation just want to hook up and things like that, and okay. relationships aren't what they used to be years ago. How do you know this? I mean, I've experienced it, that's why, like, many... Wait, can I ask how old you are? Sorry. I'm 19. And you experienced dating in a different generation? I haven't actually dated anyone, but I've gotten very close to dating them. And okay. Yeah, and they're crazy people out there. Okay. Yeah, like... Crazy how? Like, a lot of people in this generation just, they're not loyal, they're not... Um, you can't possibly say, you've never dated anyone, how could you say they're not loyal? I know, but the reason I haven't dated anyone is because they're not loyal. They sit, they act like they want a relationship, and they act, they do all these things to make you think that they want a relationship with you, but they, they're talking to all these other people, and, like, I've just, I've just had experiences where I've, I've been, I've talked to guys where they act like they want these relationships, but in reality, they don't. Okay, I'm really confused, anything. though. You're saying you've never dated anybody. No, I haven't, but I've been very close to dating people. So, but you, you're expecting these guys to like not talk to other girls while they're talking to you well, even no, though they're, they're not they're not they're in not a relationship dude? with me so of course they can talk to other girls but why are you gonna treat me like like why are you gonna treat me like you want me to be in a relationship with you like you want to date me and then like, well this... i'm just thinking like the guy probably if he feels that way yet you're not gonna go on a date with him then obviously he's gonna change his mind right like yeah, that's true. That is well, true. Well, he's not going to chase eternally, right? That is true. Like, there was, this, there was this one guy. The reason I'm talking about this is because there was this one guy I was talking to for a while. Okay. And he recently, like, just randomly, like, blocked me on Snapchat. Okay. And it made no sense to me because he acted very much like he wanted a relationship. And How so? introduced me to his friends and introduced me to his family kind of thing. Like, did things like that, you know what I mean? Okay, wait. How do you know this guy? One day we randomly just added each other on Snapchat. Actually, that's how that happened. You added a random guy on Snapchat, yeah. like through like quick whatever. That's what this generation. And is then, like. wait, wait, wait. So you didn't date this guy, but he acted like he wanted to be with you, and he introduced you to his family. Mm-hmm. But you didn't date. Yeah, exactly. But it's, maybe it's, you're right. Dude. This this is literally blowing my fucking mind. Like, yeah, I know. I, it's that, it's why? wild. It's wild. These these guys, they'll, they'll do all these things. They like introduce you to their friends and whatever. And How did the whole family thing even play out? Like, So basically what happened is um, on my prom, we weren't close enough to go to prom together. But you okay. picked me up from my prom. And then I was, I was it, it's really funny. I was complaining I had a headache and stuff like that. So we went back to his house and he got me like an Advil. And I went inside and I met his mom. Just something small like that. Okay, so it's not like here is my it's potential like he, girlfriend in the future. Yeah. Let me introduce you to my mom. That's true, yeah. But that's still like super weird. Like, why didn't your true. date pick you up for the prom? Exactly. That's why I didn't. I didn't even have it. I didn't have anyone else I was interested in. When I'm interested in a guy, I only like that one guy. I'm not gonna talk to multiple other people. You know what but I mean? But that that wasn't the case at all for you for prom. You were just like yeah, you yeah. went by yourself type of thing. Basically, yeah, I was gonna go with a friend, and then that's a whole nother story. Her and I got into this big argument, so I just went alone, and I preferred to go alone than with her. Okay, why yeah. didn't you just go with this guy? Because well, you're not we, close enough. We weren't close enough. Yeah, like we we had talked for a while, and he started dating this girl, and then we started talking again, and it was only for like a month, so we weren't close enough at all to go together. Wait, like you added him on Snapchat? Did he go to the same school as you? No, or we like... didn't go to the same school. We didn't even have the same friend groups, and that's what I liked about him. That we didn't even share any of the same friends. Like it was like no one, no one that I knew knew him, kind of thing. You know what I mean? How did he like? How did your conversation with him even start? Like, which one of you added the other one first? Do you remember? I think he added me first, and then and I don't even remember how we started talking because it was back in like 2020, 2021. Okay. I don't want to, like, in this whole time, you've just been, like, scouting guys, but, like, not really dating anybody. Has nobody meets you? Not really. It's kind of the opposite. They've been scouting me, and they act like they want to date, and then nothing happens. And you're like, no thanks? It's not something I really want to talk about much. Okay. All right. It's just, it's a very confusing thing that you're, uh, that you brought up. So, what else do you want to tell me about this, if anything? Um, I just think that this generation isn't loyal. I feel like you're, you're like, 
you're you're viewing it through the wrong lens. I feel. I don't know. Maybe well, I'm wrong, I'm, I'm, but like I feel like that the guy you're talking about, the loyal guy or whatever, exists yeah. definitely. Yeah, like, well, I'm there. also talking like throughout my experiences too. I personally have never experienced anything that great yet, so I'm talking, you know, from my experiences, which haven't been that great. Yeah, but like. If you haven't been cheated on, I don't think you can say that these this generation's full of like unloyal guys. I just I just think it is unless you have like a bunch of friends who all got cheated on or that something. That is true, yeah. But I, but I just personally think that like this generation is more into like like casual things more than like a solid relationship. That's what I maybe think. like that. That's um, what I've seen. That's what I can tell like from my friends' experiences and stuff. Like that. Part of that is obviously because of like all the options now, right? That like, is true. You know, to meet, just meet somebody, like, and 20 years ago. And now social media, too. Like, yeah. Snapchat and Instagram. Obviously, that, that's the options I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Just a- adding randoms and start talking to them. Exactly. Right? So, and that, or, and like, Tinder or whatever. a lot of these people, too. They randomly just kind of add you one day, and you're like, oh, now I'm talking to this person. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah. it, it, literally, the guys I had picked up right before you guys were mm-hmm. talking about how, you know, uh, if you want like a loyal girl or whatever, mm-hmm. their words like the bar is not the place. That is right? true. That is true. But I'm like, well, you guys were at the bar. Like, are you loyal guys or yeah, like well, what's the deal? Like, my birthday just kind of passed, so I went there to take my mom out and just have a good time. I wasn't there to meet anybody. Right, but my point being, like, there's definitely guys out there thinking the same thing that you're thinking. That is true. About the girls. That is right? true. And I mean, cl- yeah. uh, from my own, uh, what I think they're saying is that they're looking for a loyal girl to be loyal to, right? Yeah. Or I don't. Maybe they're not. Maybe they just want a loyal girl while they go fuck her out. But I don't know. Um, yeah. But yeah. I, don't know. I, I agree with what you're saying. It just depends on the person's mindset too, I guess, and their experiences. If if you're a person that's had all these bad experiences, then you're gonna expect. Yeah, but it, I, I think if you go in with the mindset of all guys are not loyal in this generation, right? You, yeah. Either one or two things is going to happen. You're either going to be, like, forever alone or with some, like, 60-year-old dude. <laughs> Neither true. which is, like, good, right? That is true. That so, is true. no, I think, like, you just got to take some chances. And, you know, worst-case scenario, I guess you get murdered. But, like... <laughs> uh, no, I've been told you have to go through 10 shitty guys to find one. That's one. not even necessarily true, right? Like, yeah. I have friends who, you know... My closest friends, they're like, they've been together, they were each other's like first boyfriend, girlfriend, and I'm invited to their wedding this year. Wow. And this is like 10 years in the making, like, so like, wow. yeah, no, it can definitely happen. It can, it's just, it's just not that common now, I think. Yeah, but yeah. again, you can't, you can't just like run stats in your head and be like, alright, fuck it, like, <laughs> oh, right, like, no, you gotta, you gotta take chances and live yeah. life, right? That's true. That's um, true. yeah. Yeah. Can we take up yeah, sure. Yeah. Thanks for doing the thing, though. Much yeah, appreciated. Of course. We'll definitely check out your YouTube channel. Sweet. Yeah, if you want to check it out, it's called uh, Ride Light. Uh, this is the logo up here. Did you say, oh, Ride Light?